Welcome to the shooting show. This week we return to last year's wildfowling season and head up to Orkney with my twin brother and the boys and bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Using these um, old Ely Bismuth 10 gauge this morning. Should do the job.
people are out this morning again on geese and the wind has really picked up this morning which should be better conditions but they're still staying pretty high and um, they're just we're just flighting them across this area and we've sort of three or four teams out three or four pairs and just a couple of decoys scattered about in front of some of the guys and Ray's just trying to kind of call the geese in over us it's working pretty well um, and we got we got some ducks scooting around the first light uh, I shot a teal and shot a goose in front now and a couple of times you you've quite long waits between the geese coming so a couple of times they've actually got in on us when we haven't been ready um, conditions underfoot here aren't great so um, staying alert and ready all the time isn't really an option you have to sort of tuck in and settle down get out of the wind and find somewhere dry but yeah it's proper proper wild fowling orkney style goose flighting and um, yeah really enjoyable leaving them for another two maybe Left yeah. and then about they were way bit far from us, but yeah. That's a big one. Mm. It was a good shot as well, wasn't it? He was moving. Good enough. Right, we're going to get the top done. Brilliant shot, John. Yeah. 
I remember it now, where? Do you remember it now? Okay. Yes. Big pond, or two big ponds down at the bottom here. We're just going to line out down along the bottom edge. Hopefully, get the geese coming in over the top of us. And see how we get on. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Straight over you. Yeah, this morning it was uh, old fashioned wild fowling. Uh, it was a good, strong breeze. Uh, it was down in the uh, like a fence line. Uh, 13 geese for the morning, morning flight. Yeah, it, was, it was pretty good. But out now, just uh, lying in the heavier. Yeah. Wind still there, uh, it's, it's dropped off a bit to what it was this morning, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. We've had uh, two groups of three come over, but uh, there was out of shot, but we'll uh, see how it goes. Remember you're 70, not 17. 71 and a half. 71 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Don't got that eye, bro. That was made, that jump, I tell you what. Oh, good shot, wasn't it? That, that was a hell of a shot, that uh, Sean. Yeah, I was quite pleased with that one. That was shot alright, but. Yeah. yeah you, can, you can get a roll in for that. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's the end of the end of our trip away today. It's the last flight tonight, and it's been a been a great trip again. Four years we've been coming up here now, and you know, John's been there right from the beginning when we started first coming away. Oh, it's it's just been brilliant at Hockney. You you're guaranteed you, you've got your geese here. I mean conditions. If it's blowing a gale, you're going to get them a lot lower. They'll come in, you know, a lot quicker. But like this week, we've, where we had one day for, for wind really, but uh, so the birds have been difficult because they're not committed to coming straight away. But on the other side of it, it you know it's it's produced really good sporting birds. Yeah, the evening flight tonight, our our last flight was for me it was it was the best one really. The conditions was good. Uh, there was like low cloud cover, but it, it silhouetted the birds brilliantly coming in, and uh, they were, they was all coming in you know a good height in shot. And I saw John field good six, seven birds away out of that uh, one of them screens. It was brilliant to see that, John. Yeah, it's, uh, to be fair, Sean, I mean, I was lucky enough to be in the right place. And uh, 
maybe got a bit more shelter than some of the other lads did, but that's that's, that's, how, it that's how it goes. But but the highlight of, of the night, as you know, in my view, was the, was the high bird that you took out, Sean. That was an excellent bird, but as, as good a quality bird as you saw you shot. Yeah, I must have been. I did enjoy that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the highlight of the night, that one, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Sean, Darren and the boys there making a bag. And now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. If you want to bag a bargain on a hunt and save an iconic species at the same time, don't miss the Save the Rhino auction currently running in Sporting Rifle magazine. But be quick, one lot is closing early and you only have a day left to bid. The lot to win a chamois hunt in Austria closes tomorrow so the operators can secure permits in time for this winter. If you want to be in with a chance, email your bid to the address on screen by Tuesday. Basque membership has grown once again, thanks to its partnership with the Game Fair. All Basque members got free entry to the fair, and the association was on hand to sign up new members at the gate. As a result, another 500 shooters have joined Basque's ranks. Chief Executive Ian Bell said new members have made an excellent choice in joining an association which holds the values of sporting shooting and conservation close to its heart. There's been an upturn in the fortunes of hen harriers. They've had their most successful breeding season in England for over a decade. Of this year's 34 hen harrier chicks, 21 were fledged from land managed for grouse shooting. Last year, there wasn't a single one. A spokesperson for the Moorland Association said grouse moor managers and their gamekeepers are to be congratulated for their involvement. And finally, excitement's building for the clay shooting classic DTL, taking place at Bywell on the 17th to the 19th of this month. It's a true festival of trap shooting, with the chance to shoot 600 targets across three days. The main event offers the chance to win a Beretta shotgun. On top of that, there's the prelim event, 50 pair double rise shoot, plus the double rise English and British Opens. Call Bywell now to enter, or download a form from the Clay Shooting website. That was the Shooting Show News. Well that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show. <laughs>